Hi everyone, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to show you how to add a name to this cake topper using the fonts already installed in your computer. So first what we're going to do is select the layers on the right hand side and ungroup them. The reason for this is because we want to make sure that our name fits between these two lines and we needed to ungroup them because this line will need to be moved up if your name is too long. So let's take a name for example so you can see what I mean. On the left hand side choose the text tool and let's type the name Emily. For this example I'm going to use the font Arial that works best with this cake topper. So we're going to go up to the font and we're going to change to Arial. Don't worry if you don't have the font Arial on your computer, you can choose any font that is already installed in your machine. And make sure that right here in style we have selected bold. So we have the name Emily, we're going to take it to the top and stretch it to touch the bottom. Make sure the name is centered to the top, to the top line. So see right here the name, oops, maybe a little bit more to the top and align it. So now we have the name touching the top and the bottom because this is a short name, this worked out great. But let me show you an example if you have a name that is too long. So let's click on the name again, double click and we can change the name. Let's try Jessica. Okay, as you can see, Jessica is too long, so we'll need to shorten it to fit between uh, the width of the line. So let's make it shorter and again align it. Now, this bottom layer, uh, bo bottom line is not touching the name. So this is the reason we ungrouped it so we're able to move this line. Go ahead and move it up. Make sure that you have the top and the bottom line touching the letters. That is very important for your cake topper, cake topper to cut correctly. Now that you typed in your name and you moved the line where it's supposed to be, you only have one final step, step that is very important. Click select all at the top and now go to the bottom right here and weld. When you weld, all the layers become one. So you can see right here it says weld results. It's one layer eliminated all the other layers. This is so the, the Cricut can cut all the layers as one and one piece. That's it. It's simple as that. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you.